Hey, come downstairs right quick. They're about to get it open. This video, taken in March 2016 in the basement of a Northeast Baltimore drug dealer, shows former Baltimore Police Sergeant Wayne Jenkins, who led the Gun Trace Task Force, recording the discovery of a safe they blasted open. In it, they found $100,000. But federal prosecutors say the video was really a reenactment to cover up the fact another $200,000 was taken from the same dealer by Jenkins and other members of the gun squad. Other evidence in the case shown today by federal prosecutors, the tools, masks, and grappling hooks kept in a black duffel bag by Wayne Jenkins. Brass knuckles in the console of his police car. It's evidence prosecutors used to successfully convince jurors the gun squad was a rogue group of police officers that operated outside the bounds of their oath. Also shown, pictures of bail bondsman Donald Stepp, dressed as a police officer in Wayne Jenkins' office. Stepp admitted being the drug dealer for cocaine and heroin stolen by the gun squad. Even though he wasn't a police officer, Stepp admitted in court he helped the squad commit crimes. Stepp and Jenkins were clearly friends. This picture was taken in 2013 in New Orleans when the Ravens won the Super Bowl. Four of the former officers pleaded guilty. A jury found former officers Daniel Herschel and Marcus Taylor guilty of fraud and corruption charges. No date has been set yet for their sentencing. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.